Hello everyone, thank you for watching. John here. Um, I wanted to make a video about this mystery of Christ. Um, a lot of Trinitarians try to say the mystery was that God was a triune God. And it, that's just, that's not using God's word rightly, okay? We can't do that, okay? It, you can't take the, a verse that says that there's a mystery of Christ and say, well see, that's, that's why the Jews thought God was one. And instead of three and one was because Christ was hidden. No, that's not what Scripture says. And I'm going to show you that right here in Ephesians 3, um, what the mystery of Christ is. And while I'm doing this, I want you to ask yourself, just pause and think. Uh, the Jews, even to this day, believe God is one. That's one of their biggest objections to Christianity is that the Christianity has this trinity, this triune God. Okay, they reject that notion. And Jesus said that Jews know who they worship, so it would behoove us to look at the Jewish people, and what we see is, is they worship one God, not a triune God, one God. And what I want you to think about is in Scripture, okay, what we see in the New Testament is there's these conversations going on about, well, wait a minute, uh, you know, the, you know, the Gentiles are included in on this, and you know what we can eat this now, and uh, you know the do the Gentiles need to be circumcised, you know, because they believe they need to be circumcised. So again, there's all these questions. Don't you think that if God went from being one to a three in one God, don't you think that would be a huge conversation that we would at least get uh, a, a you know at least what a book? Two books, three books? How many books do you think there would be just on, hey, look, God is three in one. Not just one, but three in one. We don't even have one verse in the Bible that says, hey, God is actually three in one. So, therefore, you know, I want you to think about that. But let's get back to the mystery of Christ and what it actually is. Ephesians 3 says, For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, and it means bond service, a willing servant to Jesus Christ. It doesn't mean he's his prisoner. If you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles, prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. Did you get that is the mystery? That the Gentiles would be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel. That was the mystery for not that God is triune. And it says in verse 9, And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hid in God. From the beginning of the world, okay, God hid this, that it was going to come to the Gentiles through Christ, through the Messiah, who created all things by Jesus Christ. Now, verse 9 should say, hid in God who created all things and I, I touched on that in my last video I encourage you please that's a very important video for you to watch but we'll go to Ephesians 3 9 uh, this is the actual rendition right here God the one all things having created see there is no Jesus in the Greek here so it should just read um, the world hath been hid in God who created all things now it is in Christ or through Christ um, that we the new creation is, but again, just keep that in mind. If you look at like the NIV, they translate this verse correctly. So, just like I said, it's not that I'm denying that. And eleven says, according to the eternal purpose which He purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord. See, He had a purpose for the Messiah. That's what this is saying. He's always had a purpose for the Messiah. And then notice, for this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, wait a minute. Why is he only bowing his knees to the Father? Why not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Well, I know it's because God is the Father. God is one. 
I hope uh, you know th that message spoke to you. I pray that the truth has come to you. If you feel it in your heart, then listen to it. Listen to your God. He's speaking to your heart. That is not the third member of the Trinity. That is God speaking to your heart right now. He wants you to know the truth. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave me a comment and I will respond to you. But understand, right here, Paul says, For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That should tell you something. And again, the mystery is just that the Gentiles would be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise. Please, stop saying that the, the, tr the mystery of Christ is that God was triune. Until next time, may God bless you with the truth.